sorry y'all the blue screen is gonna blend in with the blue pot hey y'all welcome back to the channel it's too late tuesday Yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Don't you be afraid Just So y'all, it's Tulip Tuesday, y'all Not Taco Tuesday, but Tulip Tuesday So I'm finally getting around to potting these into something a little bit bigger as you can see you don't want to go too big that's just right so i'm going to add some soil to this oh welcome to the channel y'all how are y'all doing today if you are new thank you so much for being here i hope that you have already hit the red button and subscribe to tommy bikes homestead if not go ahead and hit it now Make sure you like the video, make sure you share the video, and don't forget to turn on your post notifications. And when this video is done, leave me some comments or comment while I'm doing it. So what are y'all doing on this Tuesday? Tulip Tuesday. And get my soil and put it on my chair. Let's get busy. So I have my soil here, which is a mixture. You guys, if you've seen, well, you might not have seen the other video. Well, in this, I have some seed starting mix that I got from the Dollar Tree for $1, of course. And then I have some potting soil in here. Well, container soil, container soil. And I also have some black cow in here. Not a lot, because when black cow, when fertilizer like that heats up, it can burn your plants. And that's just from me doing research. Not personal knowledge, just some research that I was doing. Okay. I use it and I'm gonna to continue to use it, but I'm gonna use it sparingly depending on what I'm using it in. I don't have any worm castings. I really wish that I did. I also have to put, before I put the tools in, I have to, and I have to leave it in here because the bag, you, if you remember, I bought this busted bag from, oh, this bag got water in it. I have this outside, I'm not sure I have this. Where's the hole? The hole's in the bottom. So I'm good if I take it out. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit it like this. And I'm gonna cut this open because there's a hole right here. So the way this stuff smells on is not cute at all. Mm -mm. Not at all. So I'm gonna put some soil in here. Once I get it about halfway maybe, then I'll add some of the bone meal and then I will start transplanting. And I'm gonna try not to be long doing this, but if I am, I apologize in advance. I probably should have done this part beforehand. But some people actually like to see the whole step because I'm one of those people. I like to see the whole step. And this soil is very loose. It's like um, the sand stuff, the kinetic sand that the kids play with. That's what it's, it's like right now. I did wet it down when I put the seed starter mix in it. Gosh, I love the way dirt smells. Why is that? That's so weird. I was such a weird girl. You see how it's wet, but yet it's still loose. 
that's how you want your soil to be because you want your roots to be able to get in there and plant themselves. Well, I'm trying not to make a mess. I'm so trying not to make a mess, y'all. You just don't know. You just don't know. Okay, so now I'm gonna make a little area. Let me put the bone meal in. Get that mix for a minute. Whew. I should have been doing this outside, but it's so windy out there, y'all. It's sunny, but it's windy. So windy. I don't want to use too much. It's going around. I recommend you wearing a mask so you're not rubbing this stuff in. I was holding, literally holding my breath while I was doing that just now. Now I'm breathing. Okay, of course, because I'm talking. So I got that mixed around in there. Really good. I've not planted tulips ever before because I've never had tulips in my life. So I'm just going to squeeze to loosen up the soil. Hopefully not damage any roots whatsoever. I'm going to take this out. Trying to get as much done as I can get done before I have to have my hand surgery, y'all. What is it? That feeling? I'm feeling something in there. Here I am. Let me do it over here. There, area. I probably should have did this outside. Oh my God! Look at this. Wait right before I dump it. Look at that, y'all. That's some awesome root action going on right there. Ooh, look at the spaghetti. Ooh, y'all, look at that. Ooh, look at that, y'all. I have never seen anything like that in my life. There's a bowl right there. And this is so neat. It's even growing more down there. Oh my God. I'm saving this because I have a lot of things that I need to plant. I'm not gonna throw that away. I will wash it out, but I'm not gonna throw it away. So I'm just gonna try to wake up the roots and let them know you're about to go to a brand new home. So I need you to, you know, come alive, come alive, come alive. So I'm going to use some of this soil right here. Why not? We're thriving in it, right? Obviously, it's nice and rich and peat mafias. If that's, that's not a way of saying anything, I know. But hey. We're gonna make it do what it do. We're gonna make it do what it do, boo. Let me see if I can get my fingers up in here and disturb them a little bit. It just feels so weird in my hand. I just want y'all to know that. I swear to God, it feels like little worms. Oh, I hope I'm not grossing anybody out. I'm totally not trying to do that, but I'm trying to grab the bowl. And I know I'm gonna tear roots in doing this, but I'm just like loosening it up because I really wanna keep them in all together because tulips are a very social plant. They love to be next to each other, not too close, but they love to be near each other. Do you believe that plants talk to themselves, to each other, I mean? I was watching something on Weather Channel last night. <gasps> Look at that bulb, y'all. Look at that. And they were talking about how the root system in trees, they send out signals underneath in the soil to the um, moss that's growing underneath 
I was just so fascinated by that. Okay, so I got to make a little hole in here and I'm gonna, I, I think I woke them up enough. You see? See, I, you know, didn't damage them too bad. I probably gotta go a little deeper. Yeah, I gotta go a little deeper with my hole here. I'm trying to do this with one hand. but I'm still leaving dirt at the bottom, soil at the bottom. I just need to be able to get her in there. Y'all, my shoulder literally popped just now. I just need to be able to get her in there. And then I can spread her out once she's in there so that they have space to grow. And some people may say, oh, she's doing it wrong. To each his own, y'all, to each his own. I did. I had these for what, a week now because I've been making sure that I really knew what I was doing. Now it's just a matter of applying what you have learned. Right? I think that's where the application goes kind of crazy. Because now you gotta apply what you learn. It's a lot of schooling in gardening, I see. Ooh, ooh, get in there. It's just a little outer shell thing. And see, now I'm just gonna put enough soil in there to cover up the root ball. But before I do that, I'm going to add a little bit of this to the soil, not the root ball, to the soil. Use blood meal. When I find my dog on worm castings, y'all, I will be putting that on the top and then watering it in because I wanted the worm castings before I did this, but I just couldn't find it and they couldn't stay in this in that little red container for much longer. It had I gotta use my hand, y'all. I'm sorry. I know that might gross some people out, but I need to use my hand. hope they don't go into shock or anything like that and that they keep thriving um i don't have any mulch to go on top of them so what i'm going to do is probably put some leaves as an insulator because it is it still gets cold now these can take um cold temperatures i think it said down to um you know, I'm get that little tab thing. I think it says minus 20 to 30 degrees. So minus 20 to 30 degrees, it can still um, handle the cold. So that's one down, y'all. And you don't want to fill your, you just want to cover up those root balls bulbs i mean and pat it down a little bit around it to stabilize it and help the roots um get settled and want to live here if they want to live here they're gonna attach themselves and just grow and so many more are growing out of this. So I'm happy about that because it was really only one, two, three, four, five, six when I got them. When my husband gave these to me for Valentine's, it was six. But they've been, I need some more. Oh, that's my hand the wrong thing. Um, I can still see the bulb over here. I don't want to be able to see that. So, yeah. 
you don't want to go up too high with your uh, soil because when you water it, it's going to roll out the sides and you'll lose all the nutrients that you just put in. So I'm just making sure that my bulbs are covered and pressed down and nothing's leaning like this. If it's leaning, press some more soil and stand it up. Because who wants to be a slouch? Not I, cried the tulip. <laughs> so, we're done with that one. And now we're going to do the same thing for this one. I'm not going to keep you. I'm going to go ahead and do that one. And I will show you them when I get done. So, I decided to show you just speed through it, though. Um, I'm adding the soil mixture to my container and then I'm going to add some of the bone meal to it. I will mix that up. It looks kind of like a cookie dough situation. Oreo cookies that is. And so maybe I'm just hungry. Now I'm just separating the soil, leaving some at the bottom. And you're just going to do the same thing you did for the first one. Squeeze around to get it out. And I promise you these uh, roots are really weird. They feel weird on your hands. And so I'm just showing you the um, soil. I did this one a little different once I got it in there. Then I broke the um, top soil apart and added soil to it. Also, when you see the roots wrapped around the, the soil like that, it means it was time for you to repot that flower or plant because the roots have nowhere to go. So they start wrapping around in a circle. So what you want to do now is pretty much the same thing. You want to cover up these root balls, make sure they're standing. You see there's some growing, it's growing more. One bulb is growing like two and three. So, I mean, this is awesome. I'm excited. I've never ever had tulips before and I did not want to get it wrong, y'all. So that's why I'm just getting around to doing this video and I'm not putting it directly on the bulb. It might be a little bit on the bulb, but I'm actually gonna put some soil in it. I was just sprinkling that uh, bone meal, the white, white stuff you were seeing on it. I'll move these around once I get this in. This is hard to do when you're sitting down. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I'm sorry. This is a long video, but this is so peaceful. This is so peaceful. I mean, so this little guy here wants to lay down, so we're going to give him some extra soil around him and pat him down so that he can, he or she can grow the right way. So I have to start naming my plants. Oh, you need to stand up little one. No slouching, no slouching. So I promise you a spread them apart like I did the other one. Let me do that first. more space to do what they want to do they can still be social but still have their own space it's like a house you know you can have a big house and it's a bunch of people in there you don't want to be crowded together but you still want to be with your family right at least that's how I am that's how I be Push you down, so it's a big one, big baby. Okay, big big baby. There, see they're spread out. I'll bring this one over a little bit. There we go. They're spread out. I gotta fix him back up. Might have to add a little bit more soil around him. He need a little extra help. 
Nothing wrong with that. We all need a little extra help every now and then. And then we're just gonna pat around it. Notice my soil is not all the way up here to the top because if I need to add more soil to it, I can. I don't have to worry about when I water it, everything coming out that I just put in. So I just don't want them growing into each other at all. Okay, good girl. Good girl. And that's it, y'all. So I have finally, well, I'm not done. I still have two more pots to do, but I have to take my daughter um, to Best Buy so she can see how much it's gonna cost to get her computer fixed. And I will probably next Tuesday, I'll do the remainder tulips and that'll end my Tulip Tuesdays and give you an update on these. Hopefully they make it. I'm about to put them outside in the sun. I'm about to put all four of four um, containers out, but I'm gonna put these out because they need at least six hours of sunlight. And y'all, for the past five days, it has been raining. And if it hasn't been raining, it's been gloomy, dark, gray, um, mist and rain. I mean, I guess that's better than the snow that a lot of people are getting. So if you're that person who got extremely lot of snow, please be safe, be careful out there. Um, my husband just left today and he's headed someplace where it's probably gonna end up having snow or ice or something like that. So prayers for him as well. So y'all take care and I will see y'all. And I don't have to water this, um, if you were wondering. I don't need to water these right now because the soil is so, so, so moist that I don't wanna mess with the roots. They are just fine in there. And also, um, with these containers right here, I do have my holes, I have, um, have showed you that beforehand i have a number of holes all around here but i also put holes up in this area right here and the reason for that is if the bottom gets stopped up for whatever reason you will have an extra hole for drainage and your pot is not sitting there holding water so for every hole you have underneath down here um, go at a 45 degree angle and put a hole there if I can see the other one. I have one here. So I have about three, three or four. However many holes you got down here is how many you need to have up here. So just make it at a 45 degree angle. That way when the water drains down, if for any reason uh, the soil stops it up for whatever reason um, and it can't drain properly, it'll still have a way to exit out. So y'all, that's it. Y'all take care. I hope you got something from this video. Please give it a like. Please share it out because sharing helps the channel grow. And also leave me some comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And again, like the video. Love y'all so much. Y'all take care. I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. So be the best you that you can be. And when you're that person, go out and spread God's love with distance, of course, because of Rona and spread God's love. And also, if you sow, you will grow.